first of all, what, are the, what, are, what is a typical new student's expectation when they come into your school for what they're going to learn? Oh, what they're expecting. I wish I knew exactly, because if I knew exactly, I'm sure my class will be over a thousand people in each class, if I knew what each student specifically was expecting. Um, I know some people that come to Capoeira for the first time, they've seen movies or the video games like Tekken or Only the Strong, and they're really influenced by Eddie Gordo and they want to learn all the tricks. And then they realize that it's not just like, um, I think in the video game or like in the movie, there's a lot more to it. Um, so I know those people kind of get in the beginning kind of disappointed because, oh, I'm not learning all the cool tricks and everything. But I think what people are, I want to, it's hard for me to answer what people expect, you know, because I, I can give you, I can, actually, I can't answer that. I don't know what okay. people Okay, well, let me, let me follow up then. Where I was going with that is down the road on a, on a student's journey, is there some point at which it sinks in and they get that it's not about learning how to be the best or better, but it's more about the community and having fun? Yeah, I think they, I think that message, that it's a more of a community thing, a camaraderie aspect where we train together, where it's like we're doing it all together. Because one person can't do capoeira by himself. You can do capoeira moves, but you cannot play capoeira by yourself. You can say, oh, I'm training, I'm playing capoeira with an invisible partner or with a chair with COVID. We started training a lot by ourselves. Um, which are training capoeira moves, right? You're training concepts, yes. But you're not actually doing capoeira. You're not playing capoeira. Because to play capoeira, you need a partner to play with, right? You need the hoda, the circle, the community, to be there to sing and to create the atmosphere and the energy. You need the, the other part of the community that plays the instruments, the berimbau, the tabaki, the panderos. They sing the songs, they play the instruments, they create the whole atmosphere. It's almost like this whole ceremony ritual that the whole purpose of it is to have fun. It's amazing, right? There's no religion involved. There's no, it's not a cult thing that people think. People see us, people see us like gathering in a circle and singing and chanting and people are like, oh, what are you guys, a cult? Like, no, the whole purpose is literally just to have fun. We get together to try to interact, create this connection um, between two individuals and everybody in the circle, the whole community, is creating this special environment for these two individuals to go in and have a good time. So a capoeira circle, a hoda, can be filled with 80 people and they're all clapping and singing so only two at a time will get to experience a little bit of what we call the ashe. Ashe is this amazing goosebump feeling that happens in your body. It's the, the magic of capoeira. What's that word? Ashe. How do you spell that? A-X-E with a, a line on it. Yeah, Ashe. A X E. Yeah, that's not. But that's why we have the line above the E. Okay. So it's not X. Um, it's not a deodorant. <laughs> um, but it's this amazing feeling. Uh, I don't really know the origins of the word. I've had people um, taking my introduction classes that had background in history, African history, and they were like, "Oh, this word comes from this tribe," and then some people from this tribe. So I heard, like, that the word, it's a very ancient word. Um, but Ashe is something that I only feel in Capoeira. It's this amazing feeling of people coming together, singing and chanting and really creating this amazing atmosphere. So when a new student comes to classes, the first two to three classes, they're really confused. They're not sure what's going on. They're trying to get everything perfect, all the detail, trying to take everything in. And I tell them, just try to have fun. I teach on a basic um, method that the fundamentals are SFL, safety, fun, learn. Um, if you have a safe environment, you're having a fun time, you will eventually learn. So the safe environment is a teacher's responsibility to do. That's my responsibility to create a safe training environment. Make sure to properly warm up the people and so on and so forth. Um, the next is fun. I need to create a fun atmosphere, but if somebody, a student, is so like trying to get everything perfect, they're preventing themselves from having fun, like, almost like a self-imposed boundary, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I always encourage us, give yourself a good time, don't worry about the technique, it'll, it'll click. And it's really nice to watch, usually class four or class five, something happens, and the students suddenly go, oh. And suddenly, I, I barely have to give them any pointers, they just flow with it, and something opens, this first step. It takes 
usually four or five classes. That's why we kind of give like the two weeks promotions and everything. But that's kind of, it's, re, it's the most awesome thing to watch every time. It happens every time, four or five classes. And some people, there are some people that take longer. There are some people that get it on the first class. But the average is four or five class and then something clicks and then they go, oh, I get it. They still can't physically do everything, but something clicked and they're open-minded and you're gonna see them starting to absorb the capoeira. And you start to see it like things are clicking. It, by the way they walk, by the way they listen, by the way they're trying to do the moves. Suddenly they're, they're understanding something. I don't know what it is, but it's one of my favorite parts to watch in the progression of students. Um, so what makes a good student? What makes a good student? Whether it's, it's someone showing up in your, in your lobby for the, for the first class or just being interested or someone who's on the floor for that fourth or fifth class, what makes, it, what makes a good student in capoeira? Um, I think the main thing, in my opinion, for, that makes a good student is somebody that's open-minded. That's somebody that actually came here to learn something they don't know. And to be open-minded and confident enough and comfortable enough with themselves, that's exactly, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to mess up in the beginning. I'm not going to be good. And that's okay. And accept the fact that, you know, you need to actually be bad at something before you can be good at it. You know, so I think open-minded students, doesn't care, I don't care about their physicality, if they have experience or not. If somebody is open-minded and they're willing to learn, I can teach anybody. I know that. And I've seen people that thought that they can't do anything because they were this person that was over 300 pounds and he trained with us and there are people that were just super skinny and people that were super flexible and super, super strong. It doesn't matter what your physique is. If you're open-minded and you really want to come learn something new and you want to dive into this art form that's such, so well-rounded, then that for me is the perfect ingredient for a good student, being open-minded.